So, hello Blender user. I wanted to show some the new changes that are now coming in Blender 2.8, and uh, I wanted to show mostly just on the sculpt side, sculpt mode side. And as you have been maybe seeing so many other tutorial showing all the UI changes, now to change your UI, uh, your mode, you come here or you do control tab with the pie menu. You can choose the sculpt mode, control tab. Now it's kind of like having this, <coughs> the pie menu is a little bit different. If you do control, if you do just tab, it will take you to edit mode. Tab, you go back to the mode where you are and then control tab and it gives you the pie menu. You can change sculpt mode and then tab again, edit mode, tab, sculpt mode. So um, what are the other things? So as you can see, we have now our brush that you can access here in the T panel. The tip panel is not a brush. Since I want to use them, I will just hide them like that. But I left them open for, for a while. And then if you still want to have the old way, the 2.79 ways of doing things, you can find them here. Just right there. Like that. We have the new collections that are really great to organize your scenes that are here. The scene collection and you can put everything you want and organize them really well and then there is this because this is an old file this is an old file that i created and then there is uh, there is uh, those old workspace that are all open up here i feel I've, i found them really like annoying to have all those up in there so i usually close them so you can close them by just right click you have the menu and then delete them just like that, one after another. Delete them. Delete them. Delete. Even the game logic as well. We still have them here. Delete. Animation full screen. Delete as well. Actually, full screen. It's usual. Crash. Okay. This is the old version. As you can see, you are in sculpt mode, and you cannot even see your mesh highlight and then there is this grid flow that is kind of like on the way to clear them first you can you you, you want to activate my matcap matcap is bringing this you can see your, your highlight and you can tweak it even more if you want to put cavity and then tweak that i don't i don't usually use cavity and then i usually remove this highlight as well sometimes it disturbs me when i work and for the grid floor you go to the overlay tab and uncheck it if it's on your way like in my case and I don't like those that gizmo as well it's just on my way I don't usually use it so now I'm having this kind of like easy and well to see I can see my model forms well and actually this is what version is this one yeah and up here you can see the brush brush settings the one that were here in the t panel they're not in the t panel anymore they are not here in on top on top and then topo is not here the option are there it's not really a good place but for the time being since 2.8 is still it's still work in progress so we cannot complain much we can just have it but something i like is the curve that it's here since the curve is there you, you can access it and see you don't have your mouse doesn't have to travel long long places like it was here you have to tweak there and then come back here it was a bit far but here you just just have a curve there so that's something i like and you have a lot of a lane and stuff like that and brush settings front face only that's something i like to check always when i'm working <coughs> so here in his head first of all the eyes i don't like it they are not good we can this is a model i've been working i, I just dumped it. it was one of the warm-up i was doing warm-up i was doing i just dumped it and uh i just left it forget it but now i feel like i can i can give it some love 
I can show some love to her. Yeah. Yeah, so now I'm thinking I maybe I can I can just do tweak some stuff. Yeah. I want it in this kind of like demonstration to show to just add the ear. This is the way I work. As I said, I don't use that one. I usually use the space bar. Space bar, you have them there. You have all your brushes. The problem with this space bar thing, I don't like it because you have to press and hold to change the brush type. You have to press and you know, the one that have those small triangle, the edge, means like there's other brush hidden. So you have to check to press and then it could have been good if you just press it just like that. You just press it's rolling all over. It's kind of like going through all the brushes when you just press, 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 press for one click, 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 just going all over the brush. Press press all down. It's kind of it's really no 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 fun. Okay. Too much talking. Stop talking. No, let's just get the the mask brush with the M key and then we are mask all this place because I know that when you're studying proportion a head proportion you know the here it's definitely where the jawbone hands and the it's where the jawbone hands somewhere there and then it should be higher than the height the, 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 the height of this this side so somewhere here it's just a good position we'll fix it later on if it's not control I invert the selection and then K to get the uh, snake hook, pull them. Oh, we forgot to activate. Let's do this first. Yeah. I forgot to activate mm, the dying topo. Yeah. So, see, get our favorites, K strip. And we start to do some work here. Did you notice that see the here it's definitely it's kind of like it has this uh, U shape. Just this like Y, I'm sorry. This Y shape. F. Mm. It goes like this, and then there's this Y shape here. This is something as well when when working with Blender. Sometimes the model just disappear. You lose the focus, and then that's usual happen. If it's happen, then you just press the the comma. The, the keyboard, the numpad keyboard, the comma, the comma, 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 comma. Mm -hmm. And then you just pull those like this, having it fixing it. Actually, I just realized that I'm supposed to go with the Y key first, I mean, the Y shape first, and then add some other form. That's okay. We can just fix it. And that's something that I I understand with I I I will say that's what makes the difference between someone who knows how to use how to use a tool to someone who's learning how to use it. Because when you're learning how to use it, you just wanna have some workflow that you can suit you. But when you know how to use it too even something goes bad you will find your way how to fix it the difference between a master and the student the master will know his way back he knows how to fix that <coughs> sorry i'm still a bit sick yeah this is something that is happening chris yeah it's happening here okay and key we move more yeah, it seems like I had all the about mask, but I wanna tweak it. So I just press M and then with the control key now I reduce the influence of the mask key. Mask mask brush. Hmm, something is not right with this 
with this Chris key what is it let's see the curve the size the strength is really small yeah because the strength strength was not it is something with blender as well since I've been working with it for some times I know already when the brush is not behaving the way I want it because with the brush it's more, more about how you feel with it if you look at when you look at your model this is no good look at that head oh this is no good I will have so many things to fix actually I just changed to orthogonal I see so many things are not there yeah so we will fix it because this is orthogonal as you can see it's up there and perspective I work most of the time with perspective sometimes perspective things may look good but when you put it on orthogonal you see like that head it just not good I will fix it it's not a big problem we fix it So oh, as I was saying in the other window here, I'm having I'm having this uh, this ear that's from time to time I'm checking on it, and it's something that it advised to every artist. Yes, of course, sometimes you have to use your imagination to create something, but the reference it's always good. You use reference so that. Keep, you keep some some stuff in uh, some form makes sense when people look at it look at them if form doesn't make sense then when form doesn't make sense people will look and then we know figure out okay what was that exactly this is something that is happening I left it with the thumb key. I left it. I left this brush with uh, grab, but when I'm using now, it's already turned into thumb. This is kind of like the drawback of the new new system. But it has been said that they are looking at it. They they will fix it. If you are, if you are following the development, you will notice that. You will notice that. So this I'm just getting the scab scab to draw brush because it usually dig well. I use it with the con I press the control key down so I can have this kind of like dig a little bit down. Yeah. Well, this is the Y shape that I was talking about. You see the Y shape in the ear and then got this one again cutting more deeper Again, just the same thing I say. I left it with the with the G brush and then I mean I left it with the grab grab tool. Now when I'm opening it's turning to thumb. I don't know. And every time I will be doing it to always kind of like many times just not behave the way I'm doing it. F behave the way I want it to behave and I'm just digging a bit more
again you see it's turned to this brush when I was using it I left it with this grab brush it is one of the annoying parts of this new system of nesting brushes like this I, I, I complained about this one so many times already that I don't feel like about complaining about them anymore so you have brushes that are kind of like nested like this don't know why we have enough space you can now you can even you can even shrink your brush like this you can make them look big you can make them look small and you can even put them like this the brushes look 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 you can just leave the icon you can just leave it the icon but we have all this space here you can even scroll them if they are too much well yeah thinking about it I saw William started a new a new thread there. Again. Ah oh, this grab brush. Grab and try thumb. They're just like fighting like si si siblings siblings. Yeah, sibling so fighting for a toy. Okay, okay, we have this and then let me just draw that form one. So the shortcut brush shortcuts are still the same as Blender 2.7A79. Yeah, 2.79 blend short but shortcuts are still the same, but Mm -hmm. mm, it's just the nested that is a little bit annoying. The nested nesting thing. So I want to work on this bit as well. I'm just freeing it from mask. Going to the front view when I see that. And then we do this. I usually go like die on the other guy's side so defi definitely we have the shape that we're looking for I'll try to look try to make it look good so this is what I was trying to say if you go to side of you rate of auto graphic you have this is the height it shouldn't be higher than and then somewhere here the bottom of the nose this mine should be you have probably to put it a little bit up like that and then lower it a little bit as well <coughs> lower it a little bit and then make it a little bit like that so for sketching mm -hmm. No, we still didn't get this part yet. Let's get the mask. Let us mask it. Now we have already some kind of something there that we can somehow call mask. Who is that? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's the mask who doesn't have the yeah, the mask who doesn't have the shifts. Because usual I used I don't use the smooth brush. Let's see where is the smooth brush here. <coughs> mm. Yeah, I don't even remember where they hide it. It's not here. Yeah, the smooth brush is here. Usual I don't use it. I usually press shift down to have it done. So I will be 
focusing on other brush when I just want to smooth an area like this one I'm having the clear strip if I want to smooth an area I just press the shift down and then I'm smooth, smoothing it without leaving my brush without leaving my brush so I can still have the possibility the chance to continue working on an area without brush it is too much as well let me put it here yeah working in the area with that brush but still yeah still smoothing it since I have the smooth brush and oh, now it didn't change there's something in the algorithm that is kind of like making things not behave as the artist or the user want it to be. Mm, I don't like it. I don't really like that here. So this is what is it. You work, you criticize your work and then you modify it. Make it look better. If you don't like it, fix it. Simple as that. Till you'll be happy with your work. Even this one as well. I use most of the time the clay strip brush if I wanna kind of like cut down I just hold the shift down and then I mean control down now control down I'm kind of like pushing the mesh a little bit inside <coughs> this is the eyes as well I didn't like this side so I will put it like this bring this one a bit like this and then put this one even like this. Yeah, I didn't like it. Let's just tweak it a little bit. as well the mouse is no good this is really it's one of those crazy fast sketch probably that I was timing myself I believe because with with when it uh, sculpting out at least altogether you have to keep yourself in shape you have to work out you have to exercise from time to time if you don't wanna you don't wanna lose your your swing your ability to work to find your Something like this, I think I can live with. And I'm going to close it a little bit because it's always kind of like a V shape here. This one goes like a V shape. I think I have to make a video talking about proportion. Oops. Uh, as you can see, I didn't save all this section all this work I'm doing I didn't save because up to now all this work blender 2.8 can handle it without crushing so in some extent if you just wanna sketch your stuff in a very good amount of time and then you don't want to <coughs> you don't wanna you're not planning to stress out your your computer you're not planning to go really crazy with with your tree tree number triangle and polygon number you can just sketch stuff easily happily with in blender 
seven eight already. I mean Blender two point eight. You can already just go dig inside and then start to play along and enjoy yourself just for the sake of for the sake of keeping yourself in shape and knowing what is happening what is coming next well i think that's more or less about it even though i'm not 100 percent sure happy about the here yeah i will do it this way okay i'm not 100 percent happy but let should just do it yeah i don't like this part the way it's coming out like this to pull this guy a little bit inside that's something that yeah now I just just this one okay this one can come out because this one has always the Try it has the feeling kind of like the mood of coming out all the time, and then this okay, smooth them out. Mm, and I didn't even check how many minutes I'm using already. I'm doing already this, probably I should check the minutes. So, and the back of the year is not as good as I want it to be. I'm running out of minutes now. Running out of time. I'm masking like this with control shift. This is an old, old, old uh, way of masking. Lasso, lasso mask. And then something with mask. Yeah, something I have to actually point out. Since there were some, <coughs> at the end of Blender 2.79, there were some refractory, how do I say that word? Some changes in the undo system. Now, when you are doing. You have to when you're doing with the mask you have to do it twice for your action to take part once is not enough anymore because i don't know some codes are just a bit different nowadays so they're working on it as i said <clears throat> and i said blender 2.8 is just it's it's way too wide work in progress Still not liking the way it looks. I still have to feel like I have to give it some more. a little bit down I shape a little bit down because it's usually different from people different in one people it's come out really strongly yeah mm, this is something I should fix
Okay, that's something. Usually that part of the ear goes a little bit in and then you have your scalp that come out strongly and then the back of the scalp, <coughs> this is where I start the back of the scalp to start to be a little bit having that <coughs> the, the egg shape from the top. Maybe next time I will talk more because most of my video was just time lapse. I was not courage enough or daring enough to speak out loud and comment my videos. Maybe some people probably did like it, some people didn't probably. So I think that's probably it. The ice was not in the plan today and I have to do some other things. This was just my overview how to use blender how to get started blender 2.7 2.8 in sculpt mode yeah yeah i was talking about the undo with uh, the mask and that's something i almost forget today to say it out loud again to say it out I don't even remember my issue wow i was working with 35 wow that's why my lens it's always 80 i usually put it to focal lens i usually put it to 80 and then the clip sometimes i change sometimes i change i don't change my focal lens i leave it i leave it to 80. Yeah, I think for today I call it just done. So we have that here that look really funny. And I will finish it now. I will end the video soon. Yeah, mostly, I would say mostly done. yeah so thank you for watching and i will see maybe next week <coughs> i will try to do some retopo with the new tools that we have already in in uh in here in overlay and all other tools that are all over the place show to just to introduce how to set up your retopo in Blender 2.8 that will be my next tutorial i will be doing so thank you for watching goodbye